guys, today I am showing you how I made my half mask roadhog? Roadhog half mask. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> um, this took me quite a while. So what you will see me struggle with is the snout, but I have some I have some tips and tricks for that if you go about it with my method. Again, everything that I used to create this mask was stuff I already had around the house, so don't think you have to go out and buy all this expensive because you don't. For the most part, you really don't. And yeah. Do 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 do. This is it. It is a half mask, and I'm so glad I did the half mask because again, I ran into some issues. And yes, I really should start planning planning my projects out. That way I don't run into issues, but then again, I kind of like that I wing it. Because it turns out, turns out pretty well. It is really hot. <sighs> but yeah, anywho, if you guys want to see how I did that, go ahead and continue watching. <gasps> I'll see you in a second. <laughs> You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. So as you can see, I've been struggling a little bit with the heat gun and the snout that I made and everything like that. But here's here's some tricks I learned. First, make sure that the this stuff, the craft foam, is hot. Like not hot to where you can't touch it and where you need like heat proof gloves, but hot enough to where you can stand it but it's moldable. Not only that, but one thing that also helped me with, you know, my little tinfoil snout and the craft foam was I started to stretch it around. Not stretch it enough to like where it got super thin, but enough to where it actually started to mold. And I would hold it there for a few seconds and voila, mold. So I did it like, you know, I think I recorded that. I don't remember if I did or not. Anywho, but I would do like the top part, like this part, and I hold it and I'm like, oh my god, it works. And then I move to the side and then the bottom and then the other side. So I worked in sections. I heated it as hot as I could touch it, which was pretty freaking hot. And then <laughs> I stretched it over the tinfoil or over my mold. Those are some tricks and tips in case you wanted to know. Because again, you saw me struggling and it's just not that fun. I seriously was going to give up. So yeah. Anywho. <gasps> Continue.
guys, so that was the process that I took to create this half mask for Roadhog. So, a few things. To get the little snout pieces, which I totally forgot to record, at the end of everything, after everything was done drying, the paint, the glue, everything, I went ahead and took the heat gun and blasted it in the snout. And then I used just the end of one of the thicker brushes, uh, paint brushes, and I put my hand in the back, so just in here, and I pushed, I kind of rolled. So you can see where the most impact was, and I kind of rolled and let off a little bit. So it gave that effect. So it wasn't just, you know, but a little rolled effect. Also, these are just strips of black fabric that I had. So coincidentally, they're stretchy too. That's super helpful. And as you can see, I just stuck a little hole right here and tied them on. So yeah. Definitely, I might sew it and glue them just to ensure they stay. Another thing is, I think I'm thinking about adding another one down here, just so it stays like at the base of my neck. Because these I tend I tie higher, so they go like this. I know you probably couldn't hear me. This, and then one just just right here, just below the ear. I don't know. I don't know yet. We're gonna see. Anywho, that is it. So yeah. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. And if you haven't done so and would like to, go ahead and subscribe. Because I have more of these videos coming your way. So yeah. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mwah.